Pakistan's newly inducted J-10C fighters are making their mark in a major aerial exercise, where they challenge Eurofighter Typhoons of the Qatar Emiri Air Force for the first time. The Pakistan Air Force is famous for its bravery and prowess in combat. Not only in the Islamic world, but even across the world, the combat effectiveness of the Pakistan Air Force is remarkable. In the Second and Third Indo-Pak Wars, Pakistan relied on its elite troops. The Air Force's combat power finally turned against the wind and defeated the Indian Army. The initial delivery of the FC-1 Fierce Dragon fighter jets to the Pakistan Air Force did indeed allow the main fighter jets of the Pakistan Army to catch up with India to a large extent. The arrival of the J-10C gave Pakistan its first taste of what a superior air force is. The overall performance of the J-10C fighter jet is far better than that of the FC-1. And even better than the F-16. Pakistan welcomed the first batch of Chinese-developed J-10C into its air force in March 2022. Now, Pakistan has sent the more advanced J-10C directly to Qatar to participate in the exercise which has more fully demonstrated the advanced nature of Chinese weapons in front of the local tycoons in the Middle East. On the one hand, it continues to shock the Middle East countries, and on the other hand, it also actively helps China promote sales. The Pakistan Air Force officially announced that Qatari Eurofighter Typhoons and Pakistani Chengdu J-10C are currently engaged in joint air exercises known as Zilzil-2, hosted by Qatar. The precise number of deployed J-10 aircraft in the ongoing exercise remains undisclosed. During the exercise, Pakistan Air Force's newly inducted state-of-the-art J-10C fighter aircraft will flex its muscles against Eurofighter jets of Qatar Emiri Air Force in their first ever face-off in an aerial exercise. The official statement informed. Generally speaking, the Eurofighter Typhoons and J-10C fighter jets can be said to have their own merits. Which one can exert more combat effectiveness often depends on the pilot's personal skills and the support of the entire air situation system. The China shock among the major powers in the Middle East has actually already happened. In October last year, Pakistan took the lead in hosting the Indus Shield 2023 Joint Air Force exercise with the participation of 14 countries. During the exercise, the Pakistan Air Force's JF-17, the Pakistani name for the FC-1 Fierce Dragon, continuously defeated the Turkish F-16 and even defeated the Saudi F-15 fighter jet. It caused quite a shock at the time. Pakistan sent the J-10C to Qatar for exercises, which looks a bit like competing with the Typhoon. Both aircraft are outfitted with cutting-edge active electronically scanned array radars and can employ beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. Specifically, the Eurofighter utilizes the MBDA Meteor, while the J-10C relies on the export version of the PL-15. The Eurofighter Typhoon is an advanced fourth and a half-generation fighter jet jointly developed by the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain. It is also one of the most advanced fighter jets currently developed in Europe. First, this aircraft is called the European Twin Winds together with the French Rafale fighter jet. The aerodynamic shape of the Typhoon is very similar to the J-10C, but the aircraft uses a dual-engine single vertical tail design. Its maximum takeoff weight is 23.5 tons, which is significantly more than the J-10C 19 tons. At the same time, the dual-engine design can give Eurofighter Typhoon brings greater thrust, and also makes the aircraft's payload significantly larger than that of the J-10C fighter jet. Compared with the Eurofighter Typhoon, although the maximum takeoff weight and size of the J-10C are smaller, in terms of single aircraft air combat performance, the J-10C is fully capable of competing head-on with the Typhoon. Because although China's J-10C is an export fighter, it is also equipped with an active phased array radar using gallium nitride components. Therefore, although the nose diameter of the J-10C is smaller than that of the Eurofighter Typhoon, but relying on the material advantages of the TR components, the J-10C radar detection range and multi-target tracking capabilities are not inferior to the Eurofighter Typhoon. At the same time, the J-10 fighter jet can also carry domestically advanced PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missiles and PL-15E long-range air-to-air missiles. 
In terms of beyond visual range air combat capabilities, it is not weaker than the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet. The successful induction and operationalism of the J-10C fighter jets in Pakistan Air Force's fighter fleet and their participation in yet another international exercise in an the successful induction and operationalism of the J-10C fighter jets in Pakistan Air Force's fighter fleet and their participation in yet another international exercise in an unprecedented short span of time is a remarkable achievement. The exercise aims to simulate a realistic aerial warfare scenario to evaluate both Air Force's operational readiness. According to the Pakistan Air Force, the exercise is one of the most complex joint Air Force drills aiming to foster interoperability between the two allied nations and create a shared learning space. The activities are centered at the Doha Air Base, near the capital's main airport, in contrast to the Al Udaid Air Base, where a notable U.S. presence is observed. Highlighting the significance of the J-10C participation, the Pakistan Air Force emphasizes that it represents a notable milestone in their pursuit of a technologically advanced and formidable Air Force. The service also pointed out that the swift acquisition and operationalism of these advanced fighter aircraft underscore the Pakistan Air Force's commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge force capable of addressing evolving challenges and safeguarding Pakistan's airspace proficiently. Nonetheless, the exercise is expected to offer valuable insights into the relative effectiveness of the Chinese platform and give an insight into its capabilities. Zilzil 2 designed to enhance joint planning mechanisms, is a significant milestone in fortifying the enduring defense partnership between the two closely aligned nations. The first iteration of Zilzil, held in 2020, concentrated on reinforcing the established defense collaboration between the two nations. During the Zilzil-1 exercise in 2020, Pakistan's JF-17 Thunderfighters operated alongside Qatar's Mirage 2000s. Zilzil-2 Building upon this groundwork serves as a platform that Pakistan characterizes as fostering greater understanding, cooperation, and friendship between the Pakistan Air Force and the Qatar Emiri Air Force. This collaborative effort is envisioned to contribute to regional stability and security. In addition to the Eurofighter Typhoons, Qatar possesses other advanced fighter aircraft, namely the Boeing F-15QA Advanced Eagle and the Dassault Rafale. Meanwhile, Pakistan's decision to procure the J-10 was a strategic maneuver with the specific intent of countering India's acquisition of the Rafale. Both China and Pakistan experts have positioned it as a powerful rival to the Rafale fighter jet of the Indian Air Force. The J-10C, classified as a 4.5 generation medium-sized fighter jet, surpasses the power and capabilities of the China-Pakistan jointly developed lightweight fighter jet, the JF-17, currently in active service with the Pakistan Air Force. The JF-17 of Pakistan's Air Force has reportedly been facing operational challenges, particularly in maintenance, as US sanctions have disrupted the availability of spare parts in the global market.